I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Da -na 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 -na. This is Yellow Rive Matter. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of White Trash and, and in trouble. trouble. Yeah, we all finish each other's sentences here. Sandwiches, yeah. too. We got our very special guests today, our significant others, the ones who see us naked the most. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's my wife, bro. <laughs> Shannon, hey, no Brandon, how y'all doing? About it. You guys doing good? Yeah, wow, you doing great. Doing? Yeah, I can't wait for some raunchy articles. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> raunchy, raunchy articles. You got the wrong podcast, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I my name on this thing. <laughs> raunchy articles of clothing. Yeah, <laughs> Shannon, how was your birthday? Yeah, it was good. We went to uh, we had a good dinner, and then we went to. Um, a rodeo which was interesting <laughs> because it was like pouring rain <laughs> i was like <laughs> i was not prepared uh yeah so we were like trekking through the mud and the dirt and i looked over at her and i was like down and dirty nobody's staying on a bull nobody's staying on a horse yeah it was this is not worth it oh, it's yeah. slipping and sliding that's how they do it in pasco county you go get mr hot pad then you go on a rodeo <laughs> so yeah so i mean that was that was not the best but you know whatever we mean it, it's a core memory for sure absolutely <laughs> I'm on the hard drive i've <laughs> you know I've been to like a few like rodeo. I mean, I wouldn't say rodeo per se, but I've definitely been to like a few uh, where like they had like mechanical bulls and stuff. <laughs> I've never. I've always wanted to do one Dallas of those. <laughs> yeah, never been. Okay, well, I had a few at the OEW, whatever, the, whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's just an excuse for sluts and cut off shorts and cowboy boots to act like their country. That's all. <laughs> 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 I I feel like with like the 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 way we're doing the um uh, podcast today, it's like we're it's like we're a I don't know just like a a couple on Zoom. It's like oh we haven't seen our friends in so long. Hi guys, <laughs> hi from hi from Canada. Hey buddy. What are you guys up to? So Miranda, how was your trip to Cali? My trip. Yeah, didn't you just go to California, California? No. back in like oh, December? No, it was back in December. <laughs> oh, you have one coming up though. I want to go for spring break, but the tickets are astronomical. Oh, Probably like after spring break is when I'll, is well, when I'll, 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 so. I'll kick her out for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get a cheaper ticket, I think in order to get in the Cali, you could just say like you're transgender or something and they'll give you a discount. Oh, yeah. I you could, you, you could say you're getting surgery to, to get, to get a penis and getting bottom surgery. Yeah. Yeah. And just bring a roll of bologna and be like, this is going to be my penis. <laughs> it's a fat dick. It's like this. <laughs> Literally. Holy shit. <laughs> but oh, not, I, but I not blue. Oh, you're doing the cheese wheel style. <laughs> cheese wheel. Just Ima so you know. <laughs> I do, imagine your dick as wide as like a boar's head baby Swiss. That's like that fucking wide, <laughs> but this long. <laughs> <laughs> bro we had an argument one time uh well it wasn't an argument it was just talking shit to each other and it like escalated where i was like because i was like hit you with that long dick right and she goes well everybody knows that girth is king and i'm like did you just insult my dick for not being overweight <laughs> what? what was that one video the long dick style that guy. Oh, uh, Tyrone. Yes. He basically just some muscular Jack Black guy just goes up to people. He's like, I'm gonna fuck his wife. Lone dick style. Lone dick right. style. Lone. <laughs> and, there, and there's like a little like bass in the like when he says long. Long dick style. Long dick style. <laughs> he probably he probably lives in Florida somewhere. More than likely. He's definitely yeah. got a sunburn. He what? <laughs> I said he's definitely got a sunburn. Sunburn. Oh. <laughs> All right. So 
for the ones who don't uh, know the concept, it's very simple. You know, we all get up and explain different articles about people that are white trash and they get in trouble and we just make fun of it. And we, I don't know, some, I mean, actually EJ and I had a good one last week where we determined one guy might not have be, he, I mean, he's definitely white trash, but did he deserve to get in trouble because he was Jesus Christ, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I told you about the, the guy that uh, broke into a pizza hut because he was hungry and he called the cops on himself saying it was Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, mine was about a British guy who who assaulted his uh, some random lady and killed a dog with a dildo. Oh, I think I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, this was like 15 years ago, though. So, I mean... Oh, so maybe it's another. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's I, mean, people are killing dogs I mean, this dogs. is Florida, this so I'm happen. sure shit like this happens on the reg. So... Anyway, so um, tell three one two. Anyway, well, so, there are signs for molesting alligators or to prevent molestation of alligators. I caused that different rule type of molestation. That rule was my fault. I love molesting alligators. <laughs> if it wasn't and, for that long, scaly back. Mm, it, well, it's funny. Alligator dicks are like kind of like vaginas as well. They all got like a little slit. You just got to go find it and stuff. Uh, well, Sorry, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> because go dogs. <laughs> Very true. Anyway, um, so Miranda has to be somewhere at around seven o'clock. So we're gonna let her uh, take off with the article. So yeah. if you want to go ahead let's and go, explain okay. the article, let's let's rock and roll. I found a fun one. Not Florida, okay. California. Some wild shit goes on there too. Man <laughs> arrested after woman's torso is found in a trash bin in California. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, wait, it was a man's torso? No, a man was arrested after a woman's torso was found in a trash it's bin. It's Buffalo Bill. He just wanted to take off oh. her titties and put them on his fucking body. Well, you know, I mean, at the cost of surgery these days, I, you know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm I trying got, to save some I got, money here. I don't know. Oh, geez. Originally, I mean, he's, he's, he wanted he's, some head, but it turns out it was a little more messy. <laughs> I wanted. I just wanted a tit job, but two term turns out it's a torso job. <laughs> All right, go. He decided last minute he wanted to change everything. So <laughs> <laughs> full body resculpture. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So Police. how did they find him, Miranda? What happened? Well, yeah. we're going to find out. Let's yeah. see. Police have arrested a suspect after the partial remains of a woman were found Wednesday in a trash bin in L.A.'s Encino neighborhood, so in the valley. Isn't that like a really Encino? rich part of L.A., though? Yeah, it's basically where uh, Cobra Kai. Yeah, I was going to say, that's where, like, the rich kids in Cobra Kai live. Oh. It's also <laughs> where <laughs> Brendan Fraser came out, thawed, okay? Wait, what was that? <laughs> it's also where Brendan Fraser came out and thaw, uh, thawed as a caveman. Encino, man, you're right. Oh. Lynch. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably saw those titties and cut them off. He was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she was found at 6 a.m. Wednesday. Uh, this was like last year sometime. Uh, the discovery was made by a local man who was digging through a dumpster looking for recyclable materials. So sure, a homeless that's guy. what he was doing. That doesn't sound suspicious. I mean, honestly, dude, they do dig if for stuff. I mean, it yeah. is California. There's a lot of homeless people out there. I bet you he is probably fucking thrilled. He's just like, okay, you know, can here, uh, you know, fucking a diaper. Ooh, women's breasts. I, I can fucking go for these. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I can sell these to one of these weirdos and I can get meals for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Come get your pets. <laughs> Come get your pets. Good. So police said they arrested 35-year-old Sam Haskell on suspicion of murder after officers found him at a mall in Topanga on Wednesday. While the body was so dismembered, police said it could not be formally identified. Authorities noted that three people who lived with the suspect at a house in the nearby Tarzana neighborhood are missing. And ironically, listen to their names. They are his wife, May Haskell, M-E-I, her 72-year-old father, Gaoshan Lee, and her 64-year-old mother, Yang... <laughs> I cannot say this. I'm not Wait, Chinese. Haskell's You're the Chinese one. Um, Yang, Yang Zhuang Wang. Uh, yes. Yang... <laughs> 
Chinese. The Chinese. Okay. They're Chinese. So, oh, oh my God, man. Was, I thought foot was... binding was enough with you people, but Jesus, and then now they're just cutting off breasts and shit. I mean, you know what her new name is? She not whole. <laughs> <laughs> now her, her new name is cut off boob. <laughs> do, do you think? Do you think like they're like, oh, we could use this for hibachi? Oh wait, but one, 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 one Japanese, one shiny. We got to put that. <laughs> The detective was Asian as well. He probably walked up and was like, oh, something wrong. <laughs> and, and then he, he went, he went, he donked his head on the door. He was like, ding, duck, ow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else is going on? Uh, he can't identify so... the body. And he said, hurry, fuck. <laughs> Three elementary school aged children also lived at the address. All were found safe and well at the school and were placed in care at the L.A. County Department of Children and Family Services. So, those children. Were they found in a dojo? People from your article were ching Oh, the dojo? Were they found in a dojo instead of a school? (laughs) (laughs) After school program? (laughs) A dojo! It was probably a fucking dojo. That's where kids go to 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 do karate after school. Dojo. So when the officers responded, they discovered a dismembered female wrapped in a plastic bag. It was just outside the dumpster. They confirmed that it was human remains. LAPD detective Efren Gutierrez told a news conference Wednesday. Gutierrez? Gutierrez. Probably because they were getting really tired. Spanish names. (laughs) (laughs) You have to be Filipino to be good with the Spanish names of the nation. It's a rule. (laughs) Sorry. Probably because they're getting yeah. really tired of, of cooking dog, they're using dog and cat meat for cha- for Chinese food. Exactly. So, so they're exactly. like, why don't we try uh, human female breast for for general sow chicken? It's got a lot of fat in it, but then it get Chinese lady, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese lady Asian booby. Lady. No, 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 very meaty. We got to get the Polish guy booby here. <laughs> <laughs> why is the meat so fatty? <laughs> Why does it taste very kosher? <laughs> this is only partial Jewish. It, it, why does hey, it taste like? Peter? Why does it taste like kielbasa? <laughs> I ordered pastrami. I there's testicles in my egg drop soup. <laughs> Oh, uh, go, go ahead. A little bit left. Yeah. Uh, police closed off a section of Clear Stream Terrace in Tarzana on Wednesday. There was some video evidence that was collected from that scene that led us to this location. Gutierrez said at a later news mm-hmm. conference outside the suspect's property. Police first received a call at 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday after someone spotted a suspicious bag, possibly including human remains in Tarzana. But when officers turned up, they found nothing and there was no evidence to justify entry into the house. I bet you anything the cops were looking for other body parts. He's probably he's probably like, huh, what if they have like a like a mutilated vagina somewhere? I'll fucking take it and examine it myself. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Somehow that evidence gets locked. In if if it's Chinese, it'd be sideways. <laughs> <laughs> you picture Charlie Sheen and uh, Scary Movie Four. She cut in half this way or this way. <laughs> By the waist, Mr. Sheen. What's just, let's just say the other half is still good for another 10 more minutes. He pulls out a hot dog. Let me explain. Oh, my God. So what's the conclusion? In conclusion. No, well, what, uh, what happened? Did, it, did, did anyone get arrested? Did did someone go to, like, like fucking, did they get, like, Harakiri? Oh. Oh, just that Go- Gao Shen Lin or Lee was known to have driven a white Volkswagen to, I don't know, some kind of Volkswagen, which is normally parked on the street, but is no longer there. So <laughs> clearly it was him. Her dad drives a white Volkswagen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Was, he doesn't. It's like a, it's like a rav. I don't want, it's I don't like want a rav. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> So, Fun. so like, um, did, did the like, lady survive though? <laughs> She's dead. I, I just fuck, I'm just fucking with you. I know. So She's long gone. Well, that's a, that's an that's an interesting long, article. Long, like, long gone. Long, long gone. Long dead style. Oh. Oh. 
So what is your conclu- what is your conclusions on on this article, you two? I think that the body would probably look Ed Zachary like it did beforehand. <laughs> Shannon? I'm just gonna say she probably pissed somebody off. <laughs> Real bad. No women. They never <laughs> shut up. Do you think like do you think when uh she pissed him off or whoever yeah, yeah. Do you think when she pissed him off, she do you think she was like, Fuck you, you're just a yarrow belly? <laughs> she was probably like, Screw you, round guy or round eyes. <laughs> round eyes. <laughs> you gotta oh, love man. the history well, where a King Chong can have Haskins as a last name. Haskins. Yeah, that's kinda well, I mean I have Salter, so Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you get these superior genetic white genes. <laughs> her her maiden name was uh, was Pepperer. <laughs> I've, I've sunk down the ladder a few rungs. <laughs> what other periodic table to element are you going to be right. now? She married me to get a and credit score. EJ, what if like your your what if your last name before was changed was actually like um sodium chloride or, or something like that so you know where my last name comes from did, did, we talked about this salter it's not it's did. not it's not german is it no there's it, two variations to it the original is from england it was salt i knew i knew it was, I knew, I knew it was british trade. and then the other is french with a p in the front of it and they were guitarists the salter it's like a guitar oh neat do you play guitar uh, I pick and pluck a little bit. I sing. I you pick and a pluck. lot of my family has musical inclination, but wherever the money came from for salt merchants, that shit went. <laughs> you know, you know who you know who also picks and picks and plucks stuff. The Ching Chongs. <laughs> That's my very <laughs> Well, Jesus Christ, that was a that was you, the that was line a good that one. we pick rice and the patties. I was is that what you're saying, dude? I mean, you don't. <laughs> Some do. Some dude, of them work nine nine six so in tech in tech jobs in China. Wait, when uh, our son was acting up, I don't want to say his name because he's still a minor. Yeah, for a few more uh, months, but uh, he was acting up one day, and Shannon was like, "You don't realize how good you have it. You could be in a fucking rice field squatting down with nunchucks." Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you're here enjoying AC. Oh my God, the internet went out. How dare it? <laughs> and your and, and then your son's like nunchucks, dude. That sounds fucking bussing, bro. <laughs> First world problem. I don't know where these kids well, get their lingo he from. He, younger, he would do bussing. like the, you know, the rice field squat. <laughs> <laughs> like, ancient squat. Everybody knows. Yeah, that. it's like the cholo squat, except the legs aren't out like this. They're together like ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Like this, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I guess we can uh, easily say that Samuel Hoskins is white trash and in trouble, or yes, yeah, or or or, ye- or yellow trash and. He's yellow oh, there's trash. the big fella. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he wanted to be on the podcast. So get down, Valor. What's your article? He's like, my article is no one gives me food these days. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's continue with the ladies. Oh, the ladies first. Shannon, you want to go ahead and uh, with your article? Yeah, I I'm stuck between two, so I think I'll go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So, January twenty eighth, twenty twenty four. There was um. So you know, obviously, I don't know if you know, but like obviously, Mardi Gras happens in New Orleans, and um, they make these things called king cakes and they're very like well known they're very popular um and they all make them the different bakeries make them for mardi gras so inside the backstory of them is there's like these cakes that are made and babies like the little plastic babies not like real babies like plastic babies are baked inside of the cake (laughs) Um, and when you slice into it, if you get one of the little babies, you're considered like the king or the queen or whatever. So that's like the backstory of these king cakes. So apparently um, there was a thief who broke in to one of the oldest like um, bakeries like in the area and stole like a bunch of these king cakes. 
but m like my point to this was it's like the first time from someone from like new orleans like actually wanted something to do with like a baby <laughs> like, <laughs> because... he's i need to get the fucking baby I can't do New Orleans actually. Churro, churro. Do we need to bring back I the mean, dead baby? Let me get the fucking baby. <laughs> Why do I sound Australian when I'm trying to do this? Did Miranda just say bring back the dead baby jokes? Yes. Wait, I'll we'll bring back the dead you know baby jokes. What's worse than a dead baby in a dumpster, right? A dead baby in 10 dumpsters. Oh, yeah. And torso. And, and Chinese <laughs> ladies' <laughs> torsos, too. What a my point being, you know, there might be some folks that did, just didn't want to take care of their the chillins. <laughs> God damn. So who did it? Well, they didn't say. Yeah, it's um, from New Orleans. We can take a stab in the dark to what ethnicity it is. Yeah, I'm just going to say. Uh, in case it's stab in the, the dark and ethnicity in the same fucking <laughs> sentence. God I'm damn it. Each... <laughs> it's white trash. <laughs> It could be either or. Uh, the thief also took cash and a case of vodka from Bittersweet Confections last week. Question: <laughs> We got it so long. That's pretty white, right there. Like, yeah. if, so if, I'm gonna say, you know, wasn't Hennessy or anything, or okay. <laughs> we'll go with Russian. Russian. I love that they put on their social media though. They were like. Please come purchase one uh, during our regular store hours. Our cakes are just that good. <laughs> so, so wait, so the cakes are filled with little babies. Yeah, they're filled with like little plastic babies. So what if so if you eat the baby, you're gonna choke on the baby. Which is illegal in like every state, I think. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> except for Epstein's Island, I and mean, they love choking yeah. on babies. Yeah. So like Nye. Oh God! Like, do they <laughs> stick them in there after they bake them, or do they have like a plastic baby in the dough and cook it? Because then it's like you're getting cancer from a king cake. Well, I'm gonna say maybe they're like in a protective thing. So oh, that no, they... that would be my best kept secret. We put babies in our cakes. <laughs> well, the I would, baby cakes. No, baby cakes. <laughs> well, they well they probably would put the baby after it's baked. And then maybe they just like slide it in there or something. Oh yeah, they they definitely love sliding stuff in there in New Orleans. It's okay to slide it into the cake. You just can't slide the cake into the baby. See, that's the that's the cake. That's a little the baby. one way street. <laughs> in that wait, so so did they arrest the guy? Um, I I don't know. I don't have that answer for you. She just I think really loves those cakes. I wanted to talk about this. Is white trash case. and in trouble? Not white trash and got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble when we find you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's pretty white trashy, but it, yeah, it's kind of. I don't know you what the Louisiana uh, sheriff that was calling. It might have been Mississippi. I think it was Louisiana though that was calling out the gang members. You imagine him dealing with this king cake thing. We won't stand here and we won't call out whoever broke into the, the king cake factory. We want you to come out here and face us like a man. <laughs> you don't know the art of the thing I'm talking about, do you? They're gonna no, I don't know what you're talking about. The guy's a senator now. Like you gotta check it out. There's a it was a he's a sheriff. I wanna say it was in Louisiana. There was a gang problem. And he, like, goes on the news and does, like, a full-on call out of, like, you want to play with, like, victim and all that? Well, if you look around us, we will meet you with superior firepower. Like, I'll, I'll send you the article. It was, send me the article. I'm, like, I'm like so confused right now. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had I, I had something I was going to, like. Article? I had some offshoot? I know. I had something I was going to. Oh, my God. What the fuck? I, I, I had it, and then I lost it. Then you better find it. EJ, you may you maybe lose my thought. Um hmm. <laughs> I can't blame you. Well, I don't know. I guess we can conclude. This is what happens when you get old, Scotty. Old age will do this to you. We forget time. Let's begin. We're older than he is. Yeah. 
I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to get somebody else like with me in the 45 range. <laughs> there's there's nobody in that range with me. Kevin and Trey are like 45 and older, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> so you'd be like, fuck you, dude. I'm 38. <laughs> Scotty, oh do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I'll go first. Wait, actually, no. I already told well, right, Miranda's got to go. Got to leave in a bit. So how about she hears yours? Because I already told her what mine is. So why don't you okay. go oh, ahead, okay. Emery okay. J? All right. So. <laughs> On this week's episode of White Trash and in Trouble, I do not attack an entire country. I don't go after inbreds, but I prove to you that white trash comes in all colors. 27-year-old Zayama Johnson of Jersey City, New Jersey, was arrested when she committed fraud in Pennsylvania, and she was arrested in Hudson County when she applied to work for the sheriff's office. Now... Let's just rewind this. First of all, she was stealing credit cards in Pennsylvania. Go you. Way to get a limited spending range. Because <laughs> fuck Philly, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> also, she went to apply for a job at a police station knowing she had several warrants all over the place. But what did she have on her when she applied for the job? They set her up, by the way. They She applied and they were like, this bitch is wanted. Bring her in for an interview. So <laughs> she goes in under the guise that she's going in under an interview for an interview to become a security guard for the law enforcement agency of Hudson County, New Jersey. And she was tricked and found out when she was being arrested that she also had two more stolen credit cards on her. So she was going for another charge on top of what she already had. The, now, the, the Plaza Hotel staff like, is like, stolen credit card, Mr. McAllister. <laughs> Let's see what the police have to say about this. <laughs> she had 10 bench warrants out for failure to appear for traffic charges on top of this. So she was really going for the full Monty. And here is what Zayama Johnson looks like. Because oh. you can be white trash and not be white at all. White trash comes in all different shapes, sizes, and colors, if everybody. If we can get the ching chongs, we can get the ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, wouldn't you think the ding dong still would be Chinese? Like, ching chong, ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> Sorry, Miranda. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> well, Shanna's not Chinese, so it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't <really. laughs> All right. What else is going on? So, so Ziam, Zai, Ziaima, Ziaima. I almost just call her Zima, like the drink in the 90s, because it em was emphysema. <laughs> She's currently sitting in jail and waiting to see what's really going to happen to her. And that came from the New York Post. So if you want to learn more about it, just follow up as soon as it's available. <laughs> I'm interested to see what happens. Does she get what a the slap on up? the wrist? I just want yeah. I just want to imagine like the um the art the interview process was whenever they found out that she was uh you know she had warrants, but she thinks she's going in for a job interview and they're asking her, it's just like where were you on this night, March 28th, 2024, or 2023? She's like, oh, well, I was, uh, you know, thinking about wanting to become a security guard. And then as soon as they're like, as soon as they're about to fucking take her away and they put her in handcuffs, she's like, well, my salary would be 45K a year. And they're like, nope, you're going to fucking jail. I mean, I think personally they should hire her because I'm just going to say, if you know all of that information that's, you know, in your history and you still go and apply, like, to be, you know, working in a police department, like, you got a big set of ponies. Like, I'm just going to say. like <laughs> She's got balls, babe. She's from Jersey. She does. I was just going to say, she's she's got them. She don't, she don't give a fuck. She's just like, whatever, bro. I'm going in. <laughs> Y'all aren't going to find me. That big dong. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine her talking shit to her like her friends before going like 
they're ragging on her like, girl, you stupid. You stole a credit card to pay for bread this week. Like, yeah, wait till I get this job, bitch. I'm going to have all that money. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fuck with me. Fuck with me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude, if she, she wanted she a security job, why didn't she apply for like Allied Universal, right, or something, or <laughs> at the least, le or I don't know, like security at a fucking hospital or something. I mean, <laughs> like the they like the, the police station doesn't need checks, security. So. Like they're all security. Like they all, they're everyone there is armed. Even even the fucking shitty chief that just sits behind his desk. Like this, he's like, mm, why don't you go over there and uh, arrest that guy? Why don't you go over there and uh, arrest that guy? Over there? <laughs> no, just let me get a, let me get a piece of money. That one over there. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know. Well, most, sound like that. most sheriff's departments uh, have subcontractors for like booking and all that, and like yeah. transportation to courts and all that. So I yeah. assume that's probably what she was going for, like maybe a G four S or as I like to call them, gophers. Because you have them go for some coffee, you go for some paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> At least she didn't want to become a mortician, so we're, we're all good there. <laughs> she's like, she's like, he looked like my ex, and just slaps the corpse. <laughs> Y'all need to hire me, and I tell you why you need to hire me, okay? Because if anybody knows anything about security fraud, it's me. Look, I got like ten counts in Pennsylvania, bitch. <laughs> If yeah. anybody will catch them violating traffic, it's me. I got ten here in the state. <laughs> so you said she's waiting for. So you said she's waiting for trial right now. Yeah, everything that, is on hold right now. That stupid, stupid bitch. I guess <laughs> we can conclude that she is white trash and in trouble. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Let's say so. Yeah. All right. Well, shit. You're still. You're still here. That's great. I'll go yeah. ahead and do mine before before, before you before you get out of here. <laughs> mine okay mine is another british one this is like the, the third british one i've done i mean i got nothing against the british i like the british a lot it's just some started of these started a war are, bitch I'm start, starting a oh my god we'll fucking murder them what are you out of your mind <laughs> with, with, with with our transgender soldiers we'll still fucking win <laughs> remember when we were a bunch of hillbillies with pitchforks and we fucked up the greatest army in the world yeah you don't hear <laughs> so this happened just uh, actually six days ago on um, not Valentine's Day. Mm. Man calls police on himself, says he's too drunk to drive. That was my other story. Are like, you serious? Oh my gosh. I <laughs> oh, that would have been so funny if you would have chose that. I would have been like, Shannon, what the fuck? <laughs> I did. A 52 year old man. Let him tell the story. Yeah, I've seen you. So I was just seeing him. Yeah. Police, police in England say a drunken driver did the right thing after doing the wrong thing. Got a point there, man. But you don't have to, you could have called your friend, you retard. <laughs> you don't have to call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 go, there goes Find your himself out. There goes your money. An emergency dispatch. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you bad. <laughs> <laughs> an emergency dispatcher received an unusual call just before noon Monday when a motorist reported he was driving drunk and he said he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> North Yorkshire police said the man said he had a rough weekend. Don't we all? Man calls the police relate. to report that he is a drink driver. These fucking British drink driver. Just say you're you're fucking shit facing behind your driving, bitch. <laughs> using the yep, using the British term for the offense. It says around here in the article. It's it's not every day this happens. When the officers arrived, the 52 year old man <laughs> was in a van on the side of the road. A breath test revealed he was three times over the legal limit. He was arrested Monday and held in custody and released after being charged Tuesday with drunken with drunken driving in Harrogate Magistrate's Colt. The magistrate. So he got away with it very, very fucking easily. If this was like America, he probably... 10 grand, suspension of license, have to go through another class in order to get a hardship license. And Register sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's got a van. <laughs> like okay i mean you know i could say he's white, i mean i could say he's white trash and in trouble because a england <laughs> but and uh, you know at least he did the right thing on stopping himself before he could have hurt somebody uh but i think he should have just called a friend yep. 
you know, or maybe his sibling or wife. Or just finished driving. You're already drunk and driving. You might as well. <laughs> we do not condone that on white trash and in trouble unless you want to be <laughs> on this fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> unless you want to be on this podcast, but but not the good way of being on it. <laughs> I mean. I mean, he is in England. He he could have taken flu powder or night pa- or going on platform nine and three quarters, <laughs> or just driven a broom. Then again, imagine driving a broom drunk, dude. Well, it only works. The only type, the only witches or women can uh, fly their broom when they're drunk. Witches they have a grip broom. on the stick. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> <laughs> only <laughs> witches and women can drive your <laughs> on brooms. <laughs> kind, kind of like the kind what of like the one doing? well kind of like the one um hocus pocus movie when the witch drives a vacuum cleaner oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> she's like <"Ugh." laughs> well i mean yeah I'm like, i can right it sucks <laughs> yeah i mean there's no update i mean obviously he's he's ba- he basically got away scot free but i mean i think if he would have like killed somebody you know, I think, you know, obviously it would have been much, much worse. But he's just like, I did the right thing before the Dementors get after me. And, <laughs> D- and <laughs> Dumbledore sends sends Voldemort and his, his cronies to come after me. Was he single? Uh it didn't say, but I mean I I mean, I mean we're gonna he said he said single. he had a rough weekend, so his wife More probably likely it is Valentine's weekend. My wife left me went down. My my wife she left me for <laughs> For 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 per, for Percival Popkins, he's 40, he's forty five. He he works he works for the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> he's a so Slytherin. that happened on Valentine's Day. You know what happened on Valentine's Day in nineteen eighty nine? The fall of the fucking Soviet Union. No, you're a couple of years off there, bud. But I thought it was nineteen eighty nine when they went when the Soviet Union fell. Technically, it didn't really fall. Well, the like well, well, the one. Berlin Wall when uh when Reagan's like Gorbachev tear yeah. down this wall. Yeah, <laughs> and he didn't do it like right after he said it. That was years beforehand when he was standing there as an old wrinkly ball sack going. Shit, <laughs> shit, we weren't even alive. You guys were probably alive during that time. <laughs> wow, bro. So to get to the point of what happened on <laughs> Valentine's Day, nineteen eighty nine, my freaking dad walked in with a fifth of whiskey and a crack rock and a dick and gave it to my mom, and I was made. Oh. <laughs> Wait, conceived or actually born? Con- conceived. Conceived. Okay. I was born November fourteenth. That makes a lot. So it of does sense. make sense that you, yeah, you were conceived on Valentine's Day. So, like, fourth grade, we had human growth and development, and that was our class task, was to find out when you were possibly conceived. And it was just to make everybody do math when we're talking about sex. How fucking lame, right? And that's when I chalked it up. I was like, dude, Valentine's Day, February 14th, would be nine months. (laughs) My dad walked in with chocolate and penis and made me. (laughs) Chocolate and penis. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, that's with, a good bit right the, there, uh, dude. That's a really, that's a really good bit. <laughs> with the cheese wheel. <laughs> in a cheese wheel. <laughs> and with Sweet Home Alabama playing in the canister. background. <laughs> Big cheese wheels keep on turning. <laughs> DJ's mom turning me on. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm, that's I'm, your I'm, cup of crack. Huh? <laughs> no, I was speaking. I was doing it in, in the style of your father. <laughs> your father. Your father. I think his would be more like, I'm fucked up and I'm ready to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I could say this was a very fun episode. We brought we brought our better halves on. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We have to do this again. We certainly will. Yeah, we um we will yeah, we are we're gonna have Anthony Roan on next uh next week. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh and yeah, we definitely need to start um getting other guests on as well too as well. Yeah. We'll we'll definitely uh I mean we we know so many that would love to come on. We just gotta, you know, just just make the make the date, make the plans happen, you know? Yeah, get schedules lined up and all that. Yes. Save the date. 
Hell yeah. Anyway, Save the day. Save the day. this has been another episode of White Trash and in Trouble. I am Scotty Chi. I'm EJ Salter. And you are? Miranda, that is. And you are? <laughs> Shay Bay. Have a good night, everybody.